I've made a bit of a mistake. I sat down early today and started recording. Three hours later, I check to see how the recording is going. None of it was picked up. None of my voice was picked up. None of it. So welcome to episode two of the events of Big Dave, I guess. Today is actually really exciting, which is why I'm even more annoyed that it didn't record, because it is the 1.17 cave update. And just for the start, I'll just do a brief overview of what I did when my mic was switched off. So in between episodes, I did a bit of mining. Well, a lot of mining. And since it was 1.17, I had to check out the new raw ores. And I'll tell you what, they're pretty cool. I could use fortune to get loads more iron and gold. I also managed to find some diamonds. Uh, quite, quite a lot of diamonds. Yeah, uh, definitely a lot of diamonds. So obviously I made my diamond armour, although stupidly, for some reason, I decided to make two chest plates. But anyway, I got equipped and headed to the nether to collect some resources. Now, I wanted to move my portal, but stupidly, I hadn't brought a flint and steel, which is an issue. So I had run round, I thought I could either get a gas to shoot at the portal, or I could make a fire charge, but luckily, in a ruined portal, I found enough to make an iron ingot, so I could actually, if I found some gravel, make flint and steel. After about half an hour of looking for gravel, I finally found some, and so I turned that into flint and went back home. Since I'd been in the nether so long, I had so many levels, so I could do loads of enchanting. Well, I say loads, I only got two things done. But just look at that enchantment. Look at it! I was rather excited. I also wanted to make a to-do list of things I was going to get done in this episode. The first was to find the new 1.17 features. I also wanted to work on my storage system and just my base in general. And finally, I also wanted to get all the things I needed to go to the end and fight the dragon. So the first thing on the list was to find the new 1.17 caves and cliff features. To do this though, I had to go out and find some new chunks so that I could actually find the new features. So I got my map and headed to somewhere I'd never been before. Once I was there, I decided to dig down to check if I had hit the new part of the world. What I was looking for was any of the new features, like any copper underground, or actually just looking for some deep slate down there. Oh, look at that. New coal. Once I was down there, I obviously started digging, and weirdly, the first thing I found was some diamonds, which I was not complaining about. I had no intention of finding diamonds, but here we were. I found six diamonds. After a short while of mining, I eventually found Deep Slate. I was really excited to get my hands on this stuff. So I collected a bit of it up, along with some tough blocks, and then carried on digging to see what I could find. Luckily, it wasn't too long till I found my first bits of copper, right next to some diamonds as well. So I picked all that up, and then found more copper. Oh, my lucky day. Which, weirdly, was also right next to some diamonds. Hmm, wonder if that's a coincidence. I also managed to find loads of this dripstone, and some glow lichen. I was then hunted down by a few polar bears, and along the way, I found an axolotl. Unfortunately, I didn't have a bucket, so I couldn't pick it up, which is sad. Although it looked like he was winning a fight with Drowned, so good on him. So after that, the only main feature I hadn't found was a geode. All the other stuff could only be gotten from wandering traders or from loot chests. The best way to find a geode is probably on the ocean floor, because the top can sometimes show above the water. Yeah, I, I spent a very long time swimming around looking for a geode. Yeah, yeah, no, that that is a geode right there. Yeah, the, literally right there in the video that I, I'm showing you. There's literally a geode. I've just swam past a geode. You have no idea how long I spent trying to find one, only to realise that after I've given up, I had literally swam past one. Luckily, I wasn't completely inept, and I did manage to spot a sunken pirate ship. So I managed to get a treasure map and some moss blocks. Finding the treasure wasn't that difficult. There wasn't much stuff in the chest. So now that I'm heading back, let's have a look at how many of the new features I actually did get. Copper? Yep. Moss? Yep, got that in the ship. Deep slate? Absolutely. Got the dripstone and the lichen in the same place. But 
the rest is all a no. This bit is the end of me doing a voiceover, so I do apologise for the sudden drop in audio quality. All that footage, three hours, over three hours, that is now going to be condensed as five minutes at the start of this video. So, here I am. Welcome back to the second episode of The Adventures of Big Dave. It is the Cave and Cliffs update. I also realised that Silk Torch is now pointless. Absolutely pointless. Especially on a pickaxe. Because you may think, oh, but look, it's great. If you want some stone, well, look, you just pick up some stone. But when we're mining for diamonds and everything down below at, like, Y level 5, it doesn't work. I just get Deep Slate. What can you do with Deep Slate? Nothing. Can you make any of the cool new Deep Slate blocks? No. What do you need for that? Cobbled Deep Slate. <sighs> so I use Fortune. So along with the fact that all the ores are now just raw raw, so you need Fortune for that, and all the Cobbled Deep Slate is needed and is better than normal Deep Slate, Silk Touch is no longer as good as it was. Anyway, let's get into this video. So, the one thing I couldn't do is find a geode. I went out looking for all the new Caves and Cliffs features, got all that, could not find a geode. Couldn't. Devastated. However, I had started on this beautiful floor for my storage room, so why don't I do that? To start this episode off, I'll have a little time lapse of me Building my storage system. Oh, that's a goat. I mean, they don't do anything, but goat. It has been done. Finally, we can properly cross one of the things off of the board because the storage room is done. I didn't have enough item frames to fill all the chests, uh, but I've just left these empty so we can probably fill stuff in later on but yeah I've, I've not only built it but i've sorted everything in look at how much stuff we've got that does not look like much actually we'll have to improve on that but yeah look at this i'm really proud of this i quite like how the um the new deep slate goes with the old uh i say old the basalt so yeah that is uh, one thing i can cross off the list unfortunately the list has sort of been uh absorbed a little bit but where's storage room there we are that is a lot to do in this episode so i'm gonna go to sleep and i'll do it tomorrow oh my word i was just chilling you know just doing a bit of mining and i stood next to some lava and this creeper pops up behind me and blows up luckily i survived long enough to get out of the lava but i still die <coughs> Ah, uh, and I cannot remember the coordinates. It was around this, I think. It was definitely... Oh, hello. What is this? What? Whoa. Skeleton spawner. I mean, not what I came for, but great. I know it was this one though, because there was this weird lava water thing. Oh, <gasps> there's my stuff! Oh, how much?
much have I lost? Jeez. Right, I mean, I only came here just to sort of get a little break from uh, the building. And then I ended up, you know, almost losing everything. Which is always fun. You're kidding me. I've just realised what I've lost. I've lost my Silk Torch and Breaking 3, Efficiency 4, Pickaxe. Great. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know if you've seen this. I've added these pillars in. I don't think you have, actually. I think I'd stop recording at this point. I've also expanded this way a little bit. Uh, just trying to get a feel for the for the path this way. Right, let's have a look what else is on the list. I feel like that will be tedious, because I just have to find some bees. Actually, it's going to be difficult now, because I don't have Silk Touch. I reckon we need to get XP by going to the nether, finding a fortress, getting some ender pearls, trying to get up to level 30 as well, while we're at it, maybe. One thing I do need when I'm here, actually, is I'll get myself a bit more basalt. I don't think the nether will ever not creep me out. It's just such a creepy place, isn't it? Even when, like, you know, you're probably... You're probably safe and you're not going to die. It's just... It's just so creepy. Oh no, what broke? My hat. Here we are, a group of piglins. Have some gold. That's a point as well. They give us leather. I got loads of leather. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. Just me stood here and them just throwing things at me. This guy's obviously the leader. Look at him. Leading the group. See, I don't get how they get water bottles here. Like, how? How would they get water bottles in the nether? Clearly, they must have been to the overworld. How have I got more crying obsidian than I have normal obsidian? Just weird. Come on, is no one going to give me any ender pearls? Oh! <laughs> right on cue. More ender pearls. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Nice doing business with you. I'll just leave that there. That was a very, very successful trip. However, we're still no closer to getting any blaze rods. Right. So my farm's going to be downstairs, aren't they? So if I have... A little board here of all the farms that I want. So I want a lava farm, I want a wool farm, basalt, definitely. Ideally, slime farm, gunpowder farm. Your ordinary, just manual farms. I put dripstone on there and I put moss on there. Look at that. Full farm. Nine farms that I want to get done. Probably not today because <laughs> um, we've still got a big board of stuff to do. Get ender pearls though. It's done. We've got our ender pearls. Do we have that many? Yes, we do. We've got 13. That's more than enough. Oh, wrong button. Okay, so I just set out. Well, I say just. I've been set out for the last 10 or so minutes just trying to find a geode. And I found loads of underwater ruins. And I've just found a treasure map. Because there might be some stuff that I don't already have from the um, from the update. There it is. Oh, another heart of the sea. How many leads? Why are there so many leads? <laughs> I tell you what, I've not seen many glow squids recently. 
I found loads when it first updated a couple of days ago, but I've not managed to find any recently. Excuse me, sir. <gasps> Speaking of glow squids, there they are. Does it have to be like cold oceans or something? Because last time I saw them, they were right next to the um, <clears throat> a iceberg area, whatever it's called. Oh! Ocean Monument? That's scary. Oh! Wandering Trader. What's he got? Hello. Mm. I'm alright, mate. Oh. Hello. It's weird how close that is. <laughs> I'm not going there today. No chance. I'll probably wait till I've got a conduit or something before I even attempt to raid a monument. That's a shipwreck. Yep. Come on. Come on, gang. Look at us. Look at us. Oh, is that two? That is a geode. Is it a geode? I think it's a geode. Have I found a geode? <gasps> Would you believe it? It's going to be the same treasure map, isn't it? Oh, it's not the same treasure map. Come on, guys. Whoa, that was close. What? Where's the chest, then? Is it under here? I'm so confused. There it is. Right. Where was that geode? <laughs> I'm going to get to it, and it's not even going to be a geode, is it? Is that it? <gasps> it is. It is. Listen. Do 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 Ah! Didn't mean to do that. For those of you who don't know that oh hello. Um these geodes have you see the crystals growing at the top and like these and stuff. Um they only grow on these blocks here. You see how these are different. You probably can't tell, it's quite dark, but the ones with like a crack in the side, they only grow on them. And if you do what I just did, and break them, then you don't get anything. You, you can't move them, you can just break them and then that's it. I'm not too fussed about the smooth basil, if I'm honest, because... I, can, I literally live next to a basalt delta in the nether, don't I? so I can just go there and, you know, smelt up some basalt. It's the calcite I really want, because you can only get calcite in these amethyst geodes. You can't farm it, there's no way to get more, you just have to find the geodes. Go on, let's go home. Wait, what? Is that... That's a geode. Look how high up it is. Jeez. There's another one there. And as we return home, we can be safe in the knowledge that our mission was a resounding success. And now the phantoms are after me, aren't they? Great. Ow. Mate, can you not help? Oh my god, how many? Ah! We might almost be home. How many is there? Jeez! Oh no! That was not my mountain. I don't know where I'm going. 
Where am I? Where has my mountain gone? Jeez! How many? It's like pigeons circling a meal or something. Is that it? Is that my mountain? It's a mountain. Is it my mountain? Um, it doesn't look like it. I know where we are. Yes! My house! Get in. And we are back home! Finally. And you know what else we can do now? Find Geode? Done. We have found a geode. We can pop all the calcite in here. Look at that. Five stacks of calcite. Amethyst blocks. And do you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Look at this. That's my door. This is genuinely going to be so cool. You see, because I'm on bedrock, I can't use Optifine. I can't download Optifine and have the zoom that way. So the spyglass is genuinely just such a game changer. Oh, my render distance isn't very high. <laughs> Jeez! Where did he come from? Excuse, excuse me, sir. No, come on. Look. Mate. Look. This way. Excuse, this way. Thi no. This way. Th this way. That. There we are. Yep. Keep going. No. That way. That. Excuse me. The door's there. Excuse, no. That. No. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. Yep. Yep. No. 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 Ah. I added this really cool wall. Well, I think it's really cool. I spent ages trying the different designs, but I had to use the new calcite. It's just so cool. So yeah, that's going to go down all the walls. I probably will add some variation with like diorite later on, but I think it looks pretty cool as it is. I also got really bored of climbing those ladders, so I installed a water elevator. <laughs> hey, look at that. Right, I know I have this list of things to do here. Oh, by the way, I've got a little access down now to where the uh, farms are going to be. There's nothing down there yet, but there will be. I know I've got these things to do, but I really want to go get that skeleton farm set up, because I really need a good source of XP. And I guess I could go to the nether and everything, but hmm, it's just not as exciting. So, I'll get my ice, get my boat, Let's go construct an ice highway. Um, how, how, how have I done that? I've done it again. How? Hmm. Clearly, I'm just too good. Oh. You, you know when I was on about how silk touch is bad? But it, maybe it's not completely bad. I could have sworn it was faster than that. Anyway, my pickaxe is about to break. I have no more materials left for building. Let's go do something else. Okay, shall we actually start getting stuff done from the list? So, set up the honeycomb farm. That's going to be a bit of a challenge if we don't have any bees. You know what, I might do it outside. I might try and uh, get it set up out the front. Rightio. So if we head down here... I know I've got my little forest there, but, hmm, let's have a look. Oh, 
Wandering Trader. <coughs> Rooted Dirt! That's difficult to get. Right, you stay here. <coughs> the only way you can get Rooted Dirt is by growing Azalea trees. Once you grow an Azalea tree, all you get is one piece of Rooted Dirt. One. Okay. <coughs> I'll just take all of your Rooted Dirt. Thanks. Cool. Well, first things first, this is a mess. So I probably want to try and get this all sorted. Yeah, you can see from here. Right. Be prepared. I've decided to make some farms. Look at that. And over there, obviously, there's not many plants on this one because I didn't have a lot in the first place. Uh, but once these have all grown, I'll be able to replant them all. And, look how many cows we've got now. I've also put this down. Look at the moss carpet. It's great. Uh, so I can get over, but the cows can't. This is another prime example of me getting completely sidetracked. I can't even remember what I was going to do in the first place. But, now we've got some farms. I think I was off to find some bees. Oh, I know why. It's because I was going to put them out here. Yeah, that would have made sense. Now I've got a design for my uh, bee place, if you like, honeycomb uh, generator, in mind. So it should be alright, I won't have to, you know, trial and error or anything. And hopefully it works, I mean, knowing me, it won't work, but we shall see. Right, so, I'm in a plains, which is really good, because the plains biome is by far the most likely having a beehive on a tree. So all we need to do is find them. Statistically, we should find them after 20 trees. And I don't know about you, but I know there's a lot more than 20 trees here. I've been running around for ages now, probably in circles, and I've still not found a beehive. You see, I think this counts as a forest. So I don't know what the differences between the plains trees and then the forest trees because the, the percentage chance in a forest is like 0, 0.0 something whereas in the plains it's like 5 which is quite a big difference you know it's over a hundred times difference you know what I don't care whether this takes me five hours I'm gonna find a beehive this, I'm not I'm not posting this episode without having bees. That that's my promise. The only question is How long is it gonna take me? Where have all the good bees gone and where are all the hives? Where's the bee like fuzzy things to fly across the skies? <gasps> Where is all the honey to make my honeycomb? Ooh, to keep my copper warm and bright all night long. I need a beehive. I need to find a beehive before the end of the day. It's gonna be hard and it's gonna be long, but I'm gonna find it anyway. I need a beehive, need a beehive, hi, 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 Gonna need to find those bees to keep my sanity. I need a beehive. <gasps> beehive! Beehive! Yes! Oh, hello, there's two of them now. Hang on, hang on. Yes, yep. And if I give you... <gasps> baby bee? Baby bee! And the baby bee can't actually do any planting, I don't think. So we can just pop him there. Aw, oh, look at that. Baby bee on a lead. In case you're interested, I'm an hour into recording after I started looking for those bees. Uh, saying I live next to a plains biome, it, it, yeah, it was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. 
Oh, oh look at that. Hey, hey. Right, so. Oh, it, it worked. We now have three. Is that all we need? I think that is all we need. It is. Oh, oh. Yeah, we best go to bed first, though. This may be a bit more difficult than I thought. Especially if they're just going to keep going back into their hive. If I break the hive, they probably will get angry at me, won't they? Look at that! Three bees! <laughs> that, that looks quite funny actually. Uh, right, let's head back. Everyone's still on board? The bee train? It's like I've got loads of balloons at a fair. Hi. There we are! That looks like my mountain. Hey! On the home straight, is that a ravine? It, it is, yeah. Why are there so many ravines around here? It's a bit weird. Alright, you three stay here. I'll be back in a bit. Right, there are some things we need first before we start making our bee farm. Well, honeycomb farm rather. Not, I'm not trying to farm bees. Um, to get more bees, we need some flowers. We will need a beehive. Check. We need shears, check. We'll need a dispenser, and redstone, actually. Yep, there we are. Um, I'll also need a hopper minecart running under everything. I think this is ready for construction. Look at all this copper! Oh my word. I think I've got more copper just from that one expedition than I had like for <laughs> the entirety of my supply uh, yep yep probably not far off so let's go visit the bees I think I'm gonna build it on top of this hill so let's go Oh, not again. They're a thin. No, he's not. The other one is though. Come on, in you come. In, in you come. Go in. I mean, don't worry if he goes in or not, because. <gasps> Look at that! May have done this wrong. We can check in on this next episode and just check if I have actually done this right. So, I was just doing some bits trying to get my uh, honeycomb farm to work. I know it's the wandering trader. Look what he's selling. Look what he's selling. Trip leaf. I ain't got any trip leaf. That is one of the only features I don't have yet. Hey, hey. What on earth? Do you see his arms then? Hmm. Look. At oh, I can't plant it. Okay, look at that. So even though it's not completely done, I have properly set up that honeycomb farm.
Might not work, but I've set it up. Definitely not going to do those two today. Uh, I'll do that next time. But we can finish the interior. Oh, oh. Oops. Well, we're going to have to do it now, aren't we? So, what are we thinking? Hmm. You know, even though we've only just had a time lapse, I think we need another one. Now the real moment of truth. When I walk through there, is it going to look good? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, th th these feel a bit, like this feels quite bare, if I'm honest. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Right. On that note, let's end on a high. I hope you enjoyed the second episode of this series. If you did, please give it a like. It really lets me know how these videos are doing. Um, and if, any suggestions, as always, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for the suggestion last time about the statue. I am definitely going to build that once I've got the materials. If you do enjoy these videos and enjoy the content I make, then please consider subscribing. As I said last time, nice confidence boost and it helps me grow as a channel. I do apologise we didn't get everything done that I planned today but that will be all be left for next episode. I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye! Come and find me a bee, I just want to find a bee, a beehive and a bee will be nice. Where are the bees, where are the bees, they've all gone away and I don't know why, cause I just want to be their friend, I just want to find a bee, where can it be, please please find me a bee, and then I'll be happy. Where is the bees? Where are the bees? Can you set them free? Beep 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 beep.